Uh, well, due to COVID uh, and the spike in October, we couldn't really do it back then. And now that the cases are going down, we can do it in May. The theme of the maze is supposed to be uh, dollhouse. And we chose dollhouse because the past like two years, when we're choosing themes, dollhouse is always one of the options, but it never gets chosen. And this year, we decided to just do dollhouse. I think the scariest part is when you add all the elements together, such as like the lighting mixed with like the sound and then the actors, it kind of helps. You can have everything together. A lot of it. The wind. Definitely the wind. The, the wind. There was a lot of wind at this time, you know, spring is coming and uh, or it already is here. Uh, a lot of wind. Well, first, we run everything through the district and admin, so we make sure this is a fun and safe experience for everyone, a part of it and walking through it. Christina and I'm a sophomore. Uh, my name is Tyler and I'm a sophomore. Hello, my name is Hayden. I am a junior. Hi, my name is Haley. I am a sophomore. Hi guys, my name is Kelly Nguyen and I am a junior. Hey guys, my name is Benjamin Nguyen and I am a freshman at La Quinta. Tanjiro. My name is like Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Uh, is it the Demon Slayer dude? Like, I think his name's Todd something. I swear, I thought it was Naruto. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, Tyler, what do you think it is? I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I don't know the character, but I know where it's, is it from Fruit Basket? Is that like Naruto or something? Okay. I think I know who it is. Is that Sasha Blouse? Oh, is that like Attack on Titan or something? Yeah, hey, uh, I'll give her a hit. Wait, I completely forgot her name, but it's from Attack on Titan. That's all I remember. Wait, it's the potato lady. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, I am embarrassed. I, I, I swear, embarrassed. the name was up in my head. It, it was up in my head. I actually kind of thought it was that one guy from high school, DXP, <laughs> but... I thought it was the teacher <laughs> from Domestic Girlfriend. Now for round three. Yeah, that's Bimo from Adventure Time. This is the name Bimo. Haley? Bimo from Adventure Time. You are correct. Is is that the wait? It was that cartoon with the he has got. Uh, I, I forgot his name. I it's know from who Disney, it is. isn't it? From I know Disney? who it is, but I forgot his name. Oh Benjamin, would you like a guess? I have no clue what that is. Like Donald Trump or something? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know it's from Gravity Falls, but his name <laughs> half a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just guess. Gideon 
from Gravity Falls. He looks like a Chad. <laughs> he looks like a he looks like a Chad. I don't watch the cartoons, so all I know is like it's an it's an angry short little kid. Kinda sounds like you, Christina. <laughs>
put yourself out there and try new things. I know that sounds really cliche, but that's what worked for me. You know, when I was a freshman, I really didn't think I was going to be class president, but because I joined clubs and find things I did or did not like, I really found my place in class office and kind of grew my position to class president. Right, you hear that guys? You, if you, you know, put yourself out there, you might be able to plan your own senior graduation when the time comes. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and our last question for DJ, do you have any last parting words you want to say to our graduating seniors and to the rest of LQ? Yeah, so, so sorry we didn't get our normal senior year. I really wish we did, but you know what? We could have done so much more if we had more time, but with the time we did have, I think we've done a lot, and our high school career was a good run. So, don't worry too much, and I wish you good luck on your future endeavors. All right, thank you for coming to my house. Um, uh, I'm a very busy woman, so yeah, go oh, get it. Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, bye. Thank you for bye. your time. See you at graduation. Bye. My name is Andy Nguyen and I'm a junior at La Quinta. Hi, my name is Timothy Nguyen. I am also a junior and I go to La Quinta. My name is Vin. I am also a junior and I am a professional Roblox player. And we're here to review Shirti. So I got the Jasmine milk tea. I got the Thai tea ice blended with pearl. Uh, I like the winter melon with fresh milk. But uh, it's our favorite global place. My personal favorite. I'm Ashlyn, I'm a junior at LQ, and I'm a KD player. Hi, my name's Brianna, and I'm also a junior at LQ, and I am a professional anime watcher. I have no idea, man. <gasps> Wait, there he is. Hey, LQ. Welcome to my crib. Hello, everyone. I am Mrs. Fan, the principal here at La Quinta. And my name is Jason Mills. I'm the head swim coach, and I'm also the pool maintenance worker here at La Quinta. Hi, my name is Andrew, and I am a senior water polo player and swimmer here at LQ. What are your thoughts on the new pool at LQ? I especially love the new locker rooms and the new showers, and I really love how spacious this new pool is. There are 10 lanes instead of 6 lanes, and which makes training more efficient and allows us to host home games for water polo. So our new aquatic center is probably one of the most beautiful facilities that we have currently in our district. You know what? This is a great opportunity that we have this fantastic facility here at La Quinta. I don't know if many people know, but our old pool was actually sinking. We had the, uh, the joke is, is we had the world's only uphill pool. We are actually gonna be the pool for league championships as far as swimming, uh, as far as hosting league night for water polo. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited for all of that. How will the new pool promote LQ Aquatics? I think the new pool will draw traction because just hearing about the new pool at LQ would already draw people out to just take a look at it and really see what the aquatic sports is really about. Absolutely. I think that with the competitive culture that we have created here in aquatics at La Quinta, I think that has really helped as far as enticing competitive swimmers 
to come to La Quinta. How did COVID affect the construction of the new pool? So COVID did not impact the construction of the new gym and aquatic center. In fact, it probably allowed us to finish the project as scheduled. We actually have a target date and they always go a little bit beyond that, but they were able to just work through and open as scheduled for May 1st. I don't think it, it affected construction of the pool. You know, the, the challenge that we had, of course, uh, in our old facility was the logistics of training with social distancing. And of course, we wanted to get into this pool where we could have more swimmers at a time in the pool. With students not on campus, the construction crews could actually do a lot more and be a little more aggressive as far as uh, getting things done over here. All right, thank you. That's all the questions we have for you. Okay, thank, thank you, so you everybody. Time. We've been uh, locked out for four hours here, but we finally made it in thanks to Coach Mills. Hey, Mr. Ruzzi, can we ask you a few questions about the new pool? I'm just a digital media teacher and business teacher. What do I know? <laughs>